Hi guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you may remember the gin episode, you may remember these Hi. lovely ladies. Hi girls, yes. how's it going? It's night time. How crazy is that? Not that crazy. We did an episode that was a gym festival. That was during a day. You loved it so much. You were like, we want to see some get drunk. We want to know about alcohol. We love alcohol to drown our sorrows. So we're doing the best cocktails in knots, the best independent cocktails we could find. Let's go. We are at 31K up first because they're some of the best cocktails in knots. They're some of our favorite cocktails in knots. They're run by lovely humans. They have food. They're really cheap. It's two for nine pounds or technically seven pounds for one cocktail and one of them is two pounds, but you know, they're great. We're gonna go and sell. We're gonna drink lots of cocktails. Definitely haven't had any, promise. So first place, we thought we'd start off strong. Four cocktails from the lovely humans at 31K. We have a Highland Sling, we have got a Tipsy Tea, an Espresso Martini, and a Yorkshire Rose. This comes with rose water. This one is apparently the best Espresso Martini in all the land. That is a quote from 31K as well, but you know, we'll trust him. And these two, I mean, they just look pretty, don't they? So as always, guys, I hope you'll appreciate my honesty. I'm no expert at this stuff. That's why we hopefully connect with you. So I am gonna read off the menu what is in this as I taste them, so you actually know what I'm drinking rather than just going, mm, this tastes like gin, this tastes like gin. Who would say that? Anyway, first up, Highland Sling. Let's give this, ooh, uh, sticky boy, sticky, sticky boy Oh, Aye, aye, aye. This is <coughs> quite marks. A new take on your whiskey and ginger. You can really taste the ginger. Uh, inspired by the Highlands of Scotland. Oh, we are lassie. Uh, monkey shoulder scotch, shaken with lemon juice, and a drizzle of chambord topped with ginger beer. That's what I can taste. I love a good little bit of that. A little bit of ginger beer. You know what that tastes like? That tastes like rescue rooms regret. That's what that tastes like. It's a tipsy tea. Look at that saucy little thing there. Uh, let's have a sip first. And driven. My God, that's incredible. Freshly brewed tea. Whoa! Married with gin, peach schnapps, Martin, ah, oh, ma ma maraschino, maraschino, liqueur, and pineapple juice. You can definitely taste pineapple juice. Squeeze the lemon, rounds it off, and it's pretty good, so I'm gonna drink some more. Okay, next up, espresso martini, classic, we all love it. Why am I drinking coffee on a Friday night when this is the third drink in like five minutes? I don't know, tell me that. But Will, Will, 31K, great guy, go give him a hug. He's a lovely, lovely human. He says this is the best espresso martini in all of the land. So, I mean, that's quite a big statement, Will. Quite a lot of froth as well. I think you can do better than that, Will. Anyway, um, just have a sip, woo! Coffee. Oh, a sippy sip. That is good. Now, let's, in case you don't know, folks, because we all clearly know, but I just need to be extra patronizing for you. If you don't know what's in an espresso martini, it is Finlandian vodka, because we all know Finlandian. Oh, I'm guessing that's Finland. Let's see what they did there. Uh, Kahlua coffee liqueur and a touch of vanilla shaken with freshly brewed espresso for a boozy caffeine kick. I'm feeling quite boozy, I don't know about you. What? The fourth drink is the one that everyone has told us we need to try. It's the Yorkshire Rose. Yorkshire Rose. This is, this has rhubarb gin, strawberry, rosé, and club soda. And just to go a little bit of, a little bit of saucy saucy, we can go a little bit of rose water. Look at this sexiness, look at this. Okay, we got some dribbling. Got some dribbly boys going on there. The rosé goes really, really nicely with the gym. There's a lot of unique flavors going on. It just tastes very summery, and that's a bit of a cheesy thing to say, but it does, it tastes summery, even though it's like freezing cold. We had three days of summer, it's gone. But you could watch this in the summer, because YouTube, and you should come and drink it, and be very Yorkshire with me. Right, I should tell, because we're kind of up at the bar. This place is very busy, and that's because it's very good. It's also very popular, it's quite small, it's intimate, it's cool. So cool. I can't get over how full it is. Anyway, we have a porn star martini first. In fact, actually no, before I drink the porn star martini, because we want to educate you find viewers of gorgeous, good stuff. We have a restaurant opening soon. In like a few weeks, restaurant upstairs. How cool is that? Madness. They have uh, lots of offers, which they told me. But guess what, guys? Because we're totally filming this second and not third, um, I've had quite a bit to drink and I can't remember what they told me. They have offers happening. This is the Pornstar Martini, classic Pornstar Martini. It says vanilla vodka, pasoa, pineapple juice, lemon, vanilla, sugar, and a prosecco. Right. Thank you. So this is how your uh, team works. So Rob, because we're so bonded, just took the uh, prosecco and now I'm gonna drink the rest of it. Raises vanilla vodka. So much vanilla vodka tonight. It's definitely gonna come through. The lime juice, I think it's lime juice. Pretty sure Rob, please tell me it's lime juice. Is it lime juice? Pineapple juice. You know what this tastes like? Look, you know because this is a British thing, because this is a not thing. Can you remember going to school? Can you remember going to a corner shop and you were so badass that you bought like a carton of pineapple juice fruit juice when you went to school? Yeah? Well this tastes like the adult alcoholic version of that because we're all so badass. NG repping. Creamy. Ooh. 
This is the Blues Blazer, ladies and gentlemen. This was on fire. This is not on the menu, this is an off-menu special. You know I made that really intimate, funny joke about the McDonald's secret menu in an episode, which I can't remember what it was. Well, this is kind of like that. This is the tilt equivalent. This is not on the menu. It was on fire. Look at all the fire! Oh my god, it's on fire! It's on the menu, isn't it? You it is on the menu. You this is Kung Mac, Drambule, orange peel and vanilla sugar because we totally need more sugar in our lives after tonight. Oh my God, I feel high. So the thing you can really taste that really adds to it is the orange peel. Then that might sound like a silly thing to say, orange peel, you think it really does add to it. But it does, it gives it kind of this like almost spicy kick. Spicy boy. It gives a real spicy kick to, you know, all the cognac and the vanilla sugar really blends in in like a really nice way. I'm saying this is someone who knows nothing about alcohol. It's just a really interesting mix of flavors going on and it tastes really strong. And as well, on Wednesday, most of their cocktails are half price all night. There's offers throughout most of the week. You yeah, come to this cool space. We've got the restaurant opening upstairs. There's so much cool stuff going on. If you're going on a date, the girls or boys are gonna be so impressed because you know your shit. Please make sure you reference at Gorgeous Knots for all of your inside dating tips. If you got laid, let us know. Tag us in the comments. We wanna know about your sexual experiences. We care deeply. That's a good shoulders, he works out. Uh, <laughs> nice shirt, dude. Okay, so place number three. Not gonna lie, folks. Feel a little bit. I think this is drink number six, maybe number seven. Who cares? Pepper Rocks is cool. Pepper Rocks is where we are going to next. We're gonna go inside in a moment. They do vegan hot dogs. Who doesn't love a good vegan hot dog? Who doesn't love a vegan hot dog? By the way, have you seen our vegan episode? It's really, really good. You can watch it here. Oh my God, I love a good hyperlink. Anyway, cool. Cocktails, great value, good stuff. It's really cool inside, it's aesthetic, it's good for your Instagram. They sometimes have an open mic here. I think it's on a Monday. Producer Rob says it's on a Monday. Producer Rob knows his shit. Anyway, cool, let's go inside, bye. This is the drumstick, you got free drumstick in it. So I'm gonna suck this seductively if I can open it, but this might take a while, so time that. This is the drumstick. I'm one of the better pieces of confectionery you now. What happens if you dip it? Tastes pretty good. Ow. <laughs> this has got vanilla vodka, chambord, lime juice, vanilla syrup, cranberry juice, and it's like, I don't know if too. Because I can totally taste the absolute vanilla vodka and the uh, specifically 25 milliliters of chambord that's in there. Uh, the lime juice tastes quite limey and the vanilla syrup has an awful <laughs> taste of lime. I'm in a forest. So this is a cherry baked one martini. It's cherry brandy in, and everyone loves a good bit of cherry brandy because we're all 75 at heart. A little bit of disarano. Disarano is the best spirit in the world, fight me if you disagree. Sugar syrup, because you know, every cocktail needs more sugar in there. And uh, lemon juice and cranberry juice, because you know, you've got to get two of your five a day while she's poisoning your liver. Oh, the hurricane, it's delicious. <laughs> uh, it tastes the cherry, boys and girls, and that's because it's got 25 mil of old J cherry in there. It's got some Havana, I think Havana's rum. Yeah, it is, it's three year aged rum, because we all know the difference between two year and three year aged rum. And uh, lime and pineapple juice, with granny Dean syrup, which kind of sounds like a poison. I hope Rob doesn't poison me because it's disappeared suspiciously. So the highlight of this place is the value. It is really cheap. Before 10 p.m., all of the house cocktails are five pounds, which is obviously banging. They're all really sweet. They're all really sugary, but you know the good kind of sugary. When you want to treat yourself, definitely use that line before it's becoming a catchphrase. Oh yeah. Anyway, if you want sweet, lovely, cheap cocktails, this is the place to go. This is my favorite because it came with a drumstick, but producer Rob stole. You know what's really fit? Gincident. Fourth bar of night number one. We are at Gincident. Guess what they do? They do gin. Here's a really funny thing they did. They turned Gincident into like a gin definition. So they went with the pronunciation, which is gin, sir, dent. It's quite hard to bend in these really, really tight jeans. Uh, it's a noun. And what does it mean? I hear you ask. Sam, that's what me. Does what does it mean? It's uh, one definition and it is a happening event or occurrence involving gin. Whoa. How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. Gang, so in the final bar, we felt like we had to do something traditional. So we went for my old nemesis. nemesis. Okay. Affair. Okay. Okay. It's yeah. way easier than what you're trying to say. What is that? I mean, who knows? It looks like the gherkin you find in the McDonald's burger, to be honest. You know what? I love gin. Gin is good. Gin is very good. Gin is very good. Production manager Kat knows gin is good. If you want to know how much I truly love gin, you should watch our gin festival episode. This is raspberry gin, which is kind of like 
Unicorn Gin, because Unicorn Gin is just a marketing gimmick made up by companies to sell to people that had a fantasy about unicorn. So, uh, <clears throat> this has been uh, gorgeous. This has been the uh, best got. No, 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 no. Best got thousand odds. I will kick you in the balls. I will, oh. I will get you. <laughs> hey, this has been the best cocktail to not. I know it's gone well. How about yours? Tell us about your favorite cocktails and enjoy it. Here's a scarf. Love you lots. P.S. My Instagram is at Sam the Honey.